In today's video, I will show you how to download PyCharm on your system. So PyCharm is basically for Python programming. So you have to go on to the Google and search for PyCharm. So if you are a beginner or experienced and you wanted to use the free version of PyCharm, then you need to download the community edition. So this is the JetBrains website, which you need to check out. There you will find the professional one also, but you don't have to download this because this requires a paid subscription for using all the features, but you have to download the community one. Make sure you are downloading the .exe file. Once uh, you will click on it, the file will start downloading. You have to just wait for a few minutes as per the speed of your laptop internet. It will download. Once it is downloaded, you have to double tap on the file and then you have to install it. It will ask you for yes and no you wanted to make changes you have to tap yes then this will come up then click on next then this is the path and then again click on next you have to check all the blocks over here make sure you are adding bin folder to the path if you are not going to do it over here then you need to do it manually later on and this will interrupt your coding journey so just after checking all the blocks click on next this is the JetBrain one so yeah this will then start installation for you once it is installed everything then you have to say i want to manually reboot my laptop so then you can just go on to your the search box of your laptop and you can search for the pie charm so go on to the search box type pie charm community edition will come up then click on open once you will click on open it will ask you to config some things so it's totally up to you if you wanted to config or installation directory or not you can if you want then you can click on it then go on to the program files and then select the jet print so sometime it happens that the programs file folder will automatically pop up but if not you can search for it then look for the jet brains website uh, folder yeah this is the one and then click on the community edition one and then click on open sometime it requires but sometime do not so if it is not accepting it then you can say that do not import settings and then open it will then open a pie charm for you after a few seconds after that a network issue it will come up then you can click on public network and then allow access for the same uh, once you will click on it the pie charm window will come up then you have to click on new project for new project and if you wanted to write the file name you can do it from here as well if not you can go ahead with the default name suppose i'm writing first program file as my file name and then create this will open a python kernel for you where you can type your code on the left hand side you will be able to see the project that you have created 